when programming, sometimes you'll come across a thing called RFC, or as it stands for, request for comment. And basically, all it is is like a giant document that has documentation on how like protocols work, such as I'm sure you've all heard of HTTP or TCP, IRC, WebSockets, all of those little fun things. An RFC is an example for an IRC, basically, be documentation on how to implement an IRC server, how to implement a client all the different functions you'll need, all the different methods, all of that basically. All it is, not that complicated, but you know, I had a first one problem the other week. The other week, I wanted to get an IRC up, I thought, IRC, RFC, three letter anagrams of programming, why is there so many? Anyways, <laughs> I wanted to get one up, my problem was, oh, you know, it was, it was a difficult problem, I had to go all the way over here, go all the way over here on my keyboard, I don't have to go over here, I don't have to Google, you know, that's quite complicated, the, you know, it's difficult to do that, you know, when I had to, you know, find it, read it, why would I do that, but I can spend hours creating a NeoVim plugin, it does it all for me, so that's what I did, let me show you the plugin quickly, type in RC, let's say you're looking for internet relay chat, if I could spell it correctly, that'd be helpful, there you go, and now we get a lovely little thing. Oh, look at that. We even get lovely little previews. So let's read about the architecture. And look at that. Boom. Right inside of NeoVim. It's that easy. It is that easy. We are reading inside of NeoVim now. And I just want to show you quickly how it works. You know, so this is over here. The plugin requires telescope and plenary. I feel like most people have those installed in NeoVim at this point, realistically. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know what that was. Originally what happened, right? When I'd open it, like the preview up, but I'd uh, search is case sensitive. I sometimes need to type in like transmission control protocol, not TCP to find what you're looking for. Don't ask me, it's the API. <laughs> I'm using Spot, I can't find a better API, so you have to live a bit like that. Anyways, I noticed, you see I have the little preview window, you see how it takes a second to load. What I had originally though is I wasn't doing it asynchronously. So it kept on freezing like every second. It, like if I wanted to scroll this list like this, it would take like, or oh, it would lag like crazy. So anyways, I've used my brain and I implemented it asynchronously. And I mean, other than that, it's really not that much of code. I mean, 132 lines of code. That's not bad. I'll put it in the description, but it's literally github.com slash skycosner slash rfc.envim. You know, all the instructions are here. No really complicated setup at all. You literally just install it. And if you want, you can use Lua to call it to give like telescope more options, but it's not really too complicated. It's quite a simple plugin, really, because that's what it needs to be. It doesn't need to be anything complicated. And while I'm here, I'd like to say that I've also been working on two other things right now. So, first off, video on this keyboard will be coming out at some point. This is the brand new Kinesis M Wave. If I remember correctly, um, pre orders are available 8th of June. Yes, 8th of June. Uh, pre orders are available. So my video will be going up around 8th or 7th of June for this. But what I can say right now, great keyboard. I mean, like, I fuck with the 360 more, but completely different designs. <laughs> but I do really like this keyboard. It is good. And it's, listen. Got low profile uh, cherry reds, I think. Maybe Gator and Reds. Some no Browns, cherry Browns or Gator and Browns, something like that. They sound good. They feel good. Although I can't lie, this still sounds better to me. Cali Whites, which I picked because I wanted to be loud and obnoxious. <laughs> and second of all, I do have another very long video. Do you want be coming out in the summer? I mean, it's my biggest video I've ever worked on. It's um, I don't want to give too much away. It's about AI and stuff. But so yeah, it'll be coming out in the summer should hopefully be the summer but it's like a big video probably like at least 40 minutes long so i'm just warning all of you but anyways i'll see you guys later